Hey, Hada, Anat, you too. Peace to you. Welcome, Kothar. Please come into my humble tabernacle. I've never understood why you two do this physical exercise. Do you not know I may make yourselves how you please with nearly no effort, if being physically strong is your desire? Well, divine craftsman, we understand your gifts very well. You could give us muscles beyond belief, or strength concealed behind scrawniness as Lord Yam has. So why do you two insist on training physically, like a human would? I say Yam could surpass either of you in strength by lips and bounds. Verily so. But what control does he have of his power? What suffering did he endure to become powerful? Authenticity is the mother of true power, and he who disciplines himself and brings order to himself indeed may order his world. Yam indeed does not exercise the least discipline or restrain in his pursuit of worldly pleasures. Did you hear the latest gossip about ill? I scarcely believe any backbiting, especially concerning my brother. Perhaps I do not agree with every policy he has as a king of the gods, but he surely is a worthy king. He has proven wise on many occasions, to be sure, but the calumny concerns succession. What succession? Have these gossipers forgotten that we are not mortal? God is retired. I thought you, Lord Baal, would contend for the position. Contend with whom? The succession has always been father to son, and it has always been bloody. What need has he of palaces in stone, when he may nourish all breathing things from on high with life-giving rain? Perhaps my brother is afraid to be done in by his own son, just as he did to his tyrant father. Well, if push comes to shove, you can count on my support. Many thanks, Kothar.